So I talked to you guys earlier about putting in knockouts or putting in provisions in order to run piping or wiring or plumbing through your foundation. I want to kind of show you guys the finished result. So here, as you can see, our foundation is poured. We haven't done any damp proofing. They've just done the stripping. They still have to clean up some of the wood. But as you can see, here is this pipe. This is conduit that is going into the foundation, coming through, and it's actually going to come out inside the wall there. Now, why do we have that? That is actually so we can run our tech cable and our low voltage conduit that's going to come from the garage into the home. This way we don't have to core a hole through the foundation. It's all sealed up. Also, we don't have to maybe have it come above the ground where it can look unsightly because you're going to have to have some kind of conduit coming out of the ground and going into the house. I just never liked that look. If we can get it hidden inside, it's a lot cleaner. Another thing here is you can see over there, there's actually a hole in the foundation. I can't get too close because I'm kind of blocked here. But as you guys can see here, that actually goes through to the other side. The reason for that is our plumbing is actually going to come out of that underneath the footing, go here and run all the way along and go to the front of the house. As you can see over here, we have another one. This is the front unit. The sewer and the plumbing for the front unit that has to connect to the city is going to come out there and run out this way. Now we have enough slope. You sometimes have to look at if you have enough slope to come out under the footing. Otherwise, sometimes you actually have to come out a little bit higher. So if we did have to come out higher, what we would have done is in the foundation wall here, we actually would have made a little cut out here or here or whatever height we needed to. We would have blocked off with a piece of wood that the plumbing could come through. Now you can do this after. You can come in and core or you can have your plumber jackhammer through whatever you like. But this is a lot simpler. It's a lot easier. If you just talk to your frame and your plumber initially, they can deal with this right away and you end up with a much cleaner install in the end.